What's happening guys, Joey Antonelli here, and we got some Sebastian Inlet footage for you, and it's not the normal, just straight up killing it like uh, we do a lot at the inlet, but uh, you guys don't see the bad days. You don't see the days where we're up there and it's just a completely dead bite, or even worse, when we can see the fish, but they won't eat anything, or even worse, when people that don't know what they're doing are all over the place, and I don't have a problem with people that don't know what they're doing, but leaving rods unattended, and then you get tangled with them, because you gotta move up and down the jetty. Anyways. I'm going to stop the ramp. That's what's going on here. It's a very slow day, but I wanted to get something together for you guys and then uh, going to finish it off with a little catch clean cook action. So stick around for that and a little review of the Danko knives. That mono. Hey. They're way down there. It's mono though. It's a, it's a big snook. No, 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 hang on, hang on, you're wrapping it, it's on the tip. Okay. Which way? Go, I don't know. Just real, real, real. I'll go under. Is that what it is? Yeah. Just go. All right, go. Go, I think you gotta go back this way. I think we were wrong. Go oh. Come over, and then do one more time. Just get, don't get tangled on your way. There you go. We got something. Okay. Now I'm on. Are you good? Saw him. There he is. All wedge. Mostly, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, get a fish at least. He's pulling. What is the snook gonna do to me? Snook's gonna destroy you. Good one though. I thought it was a fucking ten pound sheep head. <laughs> that giant sheepy. Brass drum. Yeah. <laughs> Drumming. 
All right, so we're gonna do a little clean and cook action for you on Logan's black drum. Also, we will be kind of showing you guys my Danko knives I use. This one is the nine inch flex, and this is their 11 inch uh, boning knife. So there's our black drum. He's like right around 24, 25 inch or so. And uh, shout out action hat. And these are my hats too, my cork hats. And this is what I film with. It's an action hat. It's a little insert you can put in any hat and the GoPro goes right in there. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the camera in there. Nice and simple. Snap it into place. Take off that hat. And we're gonna start on this guy. All right, so we got our knives. Don't need those. Black drum is one of the fish I call kind of like your normal fish. It's a very basic style of filleting. I start with my smaller knife. Kind of feel where the meat is. You Right there it's hard, right there it's meat. So going right on the very edge, I hold the knife with one hand and then I hit right on the top just to punch through those scales. So just punch through it and then saw your way down just at an angle so you get all that head meat right there. And then I, I take the knife, turn sideways, and I'm not cutting down through the scales, I'm actually cutting up through the scales. You got the blade flipped upwards and just the tip of the knife's in there and just kind of following it down, working along that back. Once you do that, scrape your scales off. Now you can get up and just follow that bone line all the way down until you hit the spine. When you hit the spine, you can hear that clicking noise. And it let you know you're there. Now you're gonna go just over the spine and start going down through the bottom. I go most of the way down and then I punch through and just follow it all the way through the back of the fish. Before I take that fillet off, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Just all the way down the back. It's the same way I do snook, same way I do sheephead, redfish, most fish that are this shape. And then there's that noise I'm talking about. That lets you know you're all the way down there. So you're gonna go just over it and angle down so you can get as much meat as possible. And then again, we're almost through, so we're just gonna pop the rest of the way through and go right through the tail. Instead of going over the ribs on this one, we're gonna go ahead and get our big knife, lay right up in there, and once I'm at the rib, I'm gonna crack it. And it's just a twisting motion with your wrist. I'm gonna crack and go through the ribs all the way up. Pull that fillet off. And we are through it. Now that is all that is left. Very, very empty fillet, or a very, very empty carcass. That is all that is left of that thing. So let's stick him over there. Some water going, quick rinse off. All right, so now we got our fillet. We're gonna uh, skin it. I'm gonna take the smaller knife because it's more flexible. It's a nine inch flex. It'll definitely fit through here. On the bigger fish, like a big Kobe or AJ, the big knife works really well for this. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that there and really hold it there just to get it started. Now you got enough room to get your hand on there. And we're just keeping the blade pointed down. And we're just sliding through. That is some tough skin. Now I'm gonna cut the ribs out. I'm not really gonna keep them. So you can keep the ribs, but I don't feel like it this time. So I'm gonna toss them. Toss that. And that is our clean filet. Go ahead and take out this bloodline. Instead of going straight down, we're gonna tilt our knife a little bit and go right down there just off center and do the same thing on this side we're going down at an angle 
because you can see that meat underneath it's good so we don't want to waste we want to waste as least as possible little as possible there okay so there goes bloodline that's good stuff same thing here Bloodline gone. So here are our clean fillets. Go bag them up and get ready to go cook them. You hungry? You don't like see, you don't like eating them once you've seen their face. That's it. All right. So Kyla's making a bagel catch and cook for her YouTube channel. Yeah. We're just gonna do this super easy and fast because. We're hungry and we're actually on our way to go to dinner, but this will be an appetizer. So we just got some coconut oil here. A little bit more. Boom. All right, our oil is melted and we got some Chef Paul Prudhomme black and red fish magic stuff going right on our black red fish. Rub a little bit of that in there. Not the true way to blacken something, but it's fast and it is good and it's easy. Throw some on top. Come on. There we go. And we're just gonna let it sit like that for a couple minutes. And uh, really just like a minute or so, because they're not super thick. Then flip it and do the other side. All right, flipping time. Look at that. Looks tasty. There you go, that's looking pretty done right there. Got a clean fork. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. It's hot. Oh, yes. So, I'm gonna finish this off, and then we're gonna go to dinner. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out the website, h2ovinyldesigns.com. That's where you can order my hats or stickers, and you can uh, follow on Instagram at h2ovinyldesigns also. So, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Later.